you know it's getting bad when the mountain resorts are saying we're taking a break today. Yeah, you know, Meadows is always a spot that is open till the very last moment. Yes. Um, uh -huh. But that freezing rain is serious. It is tough to operate ski lifts when that freezing rain kind of attaches right to all the metal lifts right. and it's hard to clear off. So. It makes sense, and uh, hopefully we see that thawing out there uh, into tomorrow's so they can open up, and we'll know as we head towards the afternoon today. But uh, Mountain Passes, that's your look out to Willamette Pass. I wanted to share government camp, but all of those cameras are completely iced over, and you can't see anything. So Willamette Pass is one area that will continue with rain today. We're already warming up in this section of the uh, Cascades, but government camp, Santiam Pass 2, and also out towards the coast range, Sunset Highway. Will We'll likely still keep that freezing rain falling this morning where we could see some accumulations around a quarter of an inch. So icy up there heading into your Friday. Uh, we will see conditions thawing as we head our way into our day tomorrow. So improvements on the way. Here's the radar out in this area. Still seeing freezing rain showers, maybe a mix of some snow uh, in some regions around Mount Hood, but uh, we will keep that ice falling out there. Same for in the gorge too. I'm pretty concerned about the gorge today. We're expecting a lot of icing setting up right around that west end today from Corbett out to about Hood River. Uh, again, these showers are light at the moment, but we're expecting more moisture to roll in here heading into the afternoon, and that will drop ice in this area as freezing rain continues to fall. So I would find an alternate route. Highway 14 on the Washington side does have snow and icing issues out there too and might shut down, but the gorge right now is closed from Troutdale to uh, the Hood River area here because of the weather. And again, today we're back under freezing rain that will spread. Uh, snow still out towards the central parts of the gorge, but that then changes over to freezing rain heading into tonight and Saturday. So a lot of icing expected out there. An ice storm setting up for sure in the gorge. I would Again, avoid traveling in that area. You'll get stuck out there and uh, likely not move much. Now, uh, we are pulling in those gusty winds too. Almost blizzard conditions out there yesterday and this morning with those winds still gusting up to 45 miles per hour. What that's doing in Portland is dropping those temperatures. So we're still seeing that cold Arctic air pushing into the Portland metro area. We have dipped down towards the low 20s to teens this morning. And still with these breezy winds, that wind chill factor, that feels like temperature is still in the single digits, so it is cold out the door here. And thankfully that does change as we head away into our evening. We'll start to decrease those winds out of the gorge. So again, they will lighten up going into tonight. That will help some areas around Portland start to thaw out tonight, but I think a lot of spots around the metro area will likely stay at or below freezing all the way into Saturday. So we are still in a freezer box ourselves and you can see all that cold air here uh, shifting in the last couple of days and pushing right through the gorge into Portland. That's why we've dropped down towards the 20s, but single digits and the teens out in areas of the gorge and eastern Washington, uh, just that Arctic blast that set up this winter storm that arrived overnight. So the coast is one spot that is already starting to thaw as we head away into today. Day. Highs out there expected in the upper 40s to low 50s with rain showers. So uh, better conditions setting up for the coastline as those temperatures start to rise. Now in Portland, uh, we'll likely still sit below freezing. Down the valley, we do start to thaw. So even out to Salem today, likely being done with that freezing rain, more rain showers setting up, but still tracking uh, those conditions here out uh, in the metro area and in Portland. Central Eastern Oregon, we'll see a mix of some snow and rain. More snow here for the east sides. And again, the gorge will be that spot that uh, continues with that icing heading into today. Same for the mountains, but rain is expected uh, to arrive as we warm up towards Mount Hood going into tonight and Saturday. Uh, again, we're expecting our snow levels around 7,000 feet. So uh, a lot of moisture on the way up there and warmer conditions. I do see improvements as we move out of that freezing rain for Mount Hood. Now, here's our future cast. Notice these spotty showers that still set up. So we will continue with the icing heading into today. We don't really warm until we hit tomorrow. Even this afternoon and evening, we're still under that freezing rain and those showers that may drop about a third of an inch of ice here around Portland. Even tomorrow morning, there may still be some cold pockets near freezing that continue seeing freezing rain instead of rain showers. Now, by the afternoon on Saturday, we do warm up as a quick front here.
rolls in and pulls in that cold or that uh, warmer air. So we should start to thaw more completely here around Portland as we head towards Saturday night. Then Christmas Day on Sunday, we're back under some light scattered rain showers. So much warmer and more mild as we head towards the end of the weekend. Same for next week too. You can see those temperatures back in the 50s with lots of rainfall uh, into Christmas and beyond. So still be careful out there. Freezing rain expected in Portland will finally start to thaw as we head towards Saturday. Thank you very much.